perfect sequence. Uh, taking the back, finishing the guillotine. So the first one, guys, you got a position where here the guy's going to be able to move laterally. You want to force him to go one direction. So I put my foot on his hip. My left foot on his hip. I know he's going to have to pass this way. I can't pass into my foot. So when I control the neck, I can have this wrist control over his arm. What I want to do is pass the head to my free hand. I pass it to my free hand here and hit one of my guillotine variations. So from here, regular guillotine, high elbow, control the arm, going to my side, finishing the guillotine. The guy's probably not going to roll over, but if he does, you still have the line of position in a much better spot than he does. So again, instead of being here, control the distance, put on the hip here. You don't want both because then you're kind of stuck. This way I know he's going to put that hand there. I control the head, pass it to my free arm, lock my grip, lock my Garcia grip, finish the guillotine. That's the first one. 